Pro Bono is designed to allow our students to have the opportunity to work with real patients under the close supervision of our faculty and staff. So we're trying to help our students get the experience of seeing what we would do as OTs, but then also giving them the opportunity to really have that hands-on experience with supervision with children in the community that actually have a need for OT. So all our patients are obtained through the community. We serve those that are underserved, underinsured. It could be patients that do not have uh, insurance or their copays are too high. We started coming to occupational therapy because Bennett had been diagnosed with developmental delays. We worked with the students and with Dr. Maureen Fisher on working on catching him up a little bit. We've noticed just a really big change in his development. It's always patient first, it's what their needs are, and we're just there to kind of be their cheerleader and guide them through it. I think that it creates a very safe facilitation for learning. Having the immediate feedback from the professors that are there with you, guiding you throughout the session, I think it, it was great. I, I loved every second of it. It's the hands-on learning that'll just kind of help it feel more natural when you go off to field work or become, you know, an occupational therapist in a pediatric setting. It was kind of exciting to kind of like take the reins. And this gives them that opportunity to be able to practice their evaluation processes and everything that they have learned in class. But what we found is that the more we have interacted with these patients, the more we also realize how much they mean to us as well. How he's progressed from when we started initially to now is, is so amazing and like so joyful to see. He wasn't holding himself up, he wasn't feeding himself, and over the time uh, he's starting to sit up independently on his own, he's feeding himself, he's socializing. Each time I come I go home and I work more and it energizes me mentally and physically. And I've definitely seen myself this term, the gears turning, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I am going to be a real OT, and just, yeah, seeing it all come together. They walk out as mature occupational therapists, and they feel confident in their skills, which will then help them apply to their clinicals and graduate, and they can become tomorrow's leaders. We're grateful for the University of St. Augustine. I'm glad that we got introduced to this opportunity.